Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again, and today Promo Bricks has revealed some amazing new information about the summer 2021 Harry Potter sets. Now, apparently, some of these are going to be for the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter, which makes sense because we are getting an insane number of sets this year, and they're all going to include golden figures like the Ninjago 10th anniversary sets. So set number 76386 is the girls' bathroom, 217 pieces, $20. We get Harry, Ron, Cat, Hermione for the very first time, and a golden Harry Potter. The build is on an 8x16 plate. It includes a toilet and three sinks. They said it's very similar to the Room of Requirement from 2020. And Harry and Ron actually have Crab and Goyle printed on the backs of their heads. This set sounds really awesome. Perfect size. I'm glad that Golden Harry comes in the cheapest set. I just really hope that Hermione has a new mold for that cat head. Then 76387 is a Hogwarts expansion, 397 pieces, $40. We're getting Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Golden Hermione. The build is a tower and a walled area with a harp, and we do get a brick-built fluffy with new molded heads. So this is sounding like a direct remake of the old set from like 2001. Now, I got that fluffy figure like separately from my friend in like 2010, and then I ended up buying the set like without fluffy just like two years ago. I really love that set. To me, it's like one of the best Harry Potter sets, especially like back from that time. So I'm thrilled that we're getting a remake. I really would have preferred a molded Fluffy, but I'm at least happy that it's got new molds for the head because I just don't really love brick-built animals and Harry Potter has not done them particularly well, looking at like Fox and the Basilisk in the Great Hall set from 2018. Then there's 76388 Hogsmeade, 851 pieces, $80. Many figures here are Harry, Dean Thomas, Professor McGonagall, Madame Rosmerda, Mr. and Mrs. Flume, and Golden Ron. The build includes Honeydukes and the Three Broomsticks. They're open-backed builds like Privet Drive, and they have snow on the roof. Now, this set is shocking to me, because I really thought that we were going to get Hogsmeade as like a $200, $300 direct-to-consumer set, like in a year or two. Making it as an $80 set is honestly kind of disappointing to me, because... I mean, you just, you can't get, like, everything in there. We're still missing the hog's head, the shrieking shack. So I think it really would have been perfect as a $200 set. That being said, it is nicer that more people can get it now. And the minifigure selection is outstanding. Like, so many minifigures for an $80 set. I mean, I didn't even know who Mr. and Mrs. Flume were, but apparently they're the owners of Honey Dukes. So I'm really excited for this set, and I can't wait to see it. Then we've got another shocker to me, 76389 is going to be Hogwarts Castle, 1,176 pieces, $130. I thought that this would be a Hogwarts expansion, I just didn't think that it would be this, because the minifigures here are Harry, Ginny, Dumbledore, Nearly Headless Nick, Lockhart in orange robes, Colin Creevy, Tom Riddle, an unknown teacher, an unknown student, and Golden Voldemort. The set consists of the Great Hall, Marble Staircase Tower, and Chamber of Secrets, We'll get the chamber entrance and a larger basilisk build compared to the 2018 set. The roof is back to green now instead of gray, and Promo Bricks did say that the structures here are not anywhere near as detailed as they were in 2018. This sounds like a great set, but it's also a massive disappointment to me. So getting a $130 like Great Hall with the Chamber of Secrets, that's awesome. I can't wait to see it. However, the old one is still on the market. It was supposed to be retired in 2020, and then it wasn't because of high demand. So I kind of feel like they should have pushed the release of this one to next year because I get that these are 20th anniversary sets, but I don't know, it just seems odd when the old one is still on the market and it's still a great set. The minifigures here, half of them are repeated from the old one, but then we also have a ton of new ones. Colin Creevy getting a new Lockhart. All of that sounds really great. Um, I don't know who the teacher and student are going to be, but hopefully it's a new teacher. And Golden Voldemort sounds amazing. I can't wait to see these golden minifigures, even though I do think they're a bit odd. But I just, I feel like they can't do the chamber justice in a set that's about the Great Hall and the Tower. And the fact that the structures aren't as detailed, that's super disappointing to me because I wasn't thrilled with the detail on the 2018 one either. Like, that's a great set. I really love it. But I mean, it's like, it's like the benches in the Great Hall are really hard to like seat figures at and stuff like that. And like the Marble Staircase Tower didn't even have like, you know, the three smaller towers coming off the roof. So I'm really hoping that this one fixes some of those mistakes, but I'm also kind of worried if they're also cramming in the Chamber of Secrets. I really would have preferred for the Chamber to be a standalone $80 to $100 set. And this can't connect to the sets that have already released, like from 2018 to 2020, I think. So is this going to start like a new connection thing? I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. 
Then lastly, 76390 is the advent calendar, 274 pieces, $40. And this one's also a massive disappointment after the amazing 2020 advent calendar. We're getting the same Harry figure from Diagon Alley, the exclusive one in like his Philosopher's Stone outfit with the broken glasses. I know that exclusive figures upset some people, but I really think that that's one that should have stayed exclusive to Diagon Alley. Then we're getting Ron, Hermione, Griphook, and Dudley in pajamas. I don't know about Griphook, hopefully he's a new figure, but Dudley in pajamas, I don't really care about that, and I don't need him in a Harry Potter advent calendar. It's based off the Philosopher's Stone, and for the first time it's going to include a board game element, so I'm wondering if that means that they're going to like play a board game. Again, just why? Like After the epic Yule Ball advent calendar, this seems like a massive downgrade just based off of like the figures, so we'll have to wait and see, but I'm not that excited anymore about the advent calendar. And then we are getting a whole second wave that we don't have like piece counts or prices or sorry or names for, but we do have the prices. I'm hoping that this is the Deathly Hallows wave. There were like way too many sets for them to all be Deathly Hallows, so I understand the whole 20th anniversary, like going back to like the first two movies thing. But I really hope these are Deathly Hallows based because I don't want Lego to like restart the Harry Potter theme in 2021. It seems too early. I thought that they would restart it in like 2022 or 2023. So that's kind of my thoughts. The golden figures are cool. They're just kind of weird to me. I think I would have preferred like remakes of the 2001 figures like Star Wars did rather than golden things like Ninjago. It worked for Ninjago because, you know, golden power, golden ninja, that's all been done before. But the other thing with Harry Potter is that there's no golden Dumbledore. That does seem like an oversight and I'm kind of surprised by that. Although maybe he'll be in the, in the direct-to-consumer set the way that golden Wu was in the direct-to-consumer set. So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see these things because I'm still really excited, even if I do have a little bit of disappointed disappointment. Bye for now.